<clears throat> All right, I'm just kidding. Uh, let me see. Normally, I have to like wait until I can see the image before I actually officially start. Here, let me see. I do see the ads. They're pulling up. That's good. That's a good sign, right? I mean, I guess. All right, let me see. Okay, so yeah, initially, it was too, too low. So I'm really glad that I lifted that up. Hold on, let me see. What is going on, everyone? Hello to the world. Okay, I think that's fair. I'm in frame. Yes, I do have a SpongeBob shirt. And yes, it is what you're thinking. I'm not sure if I've worn this on the live yet. But this is a very classic quote from the boy... Patrick will says, and it says, well, maybe it's just because you're ugly. So that's how he sounds like. <laughs> uh, but what's going on, everyone? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone who celebrates Easter had a fantastic time with family. I do also hope that everyone who does celebrate Ramadan is also having a wonderful, wonderful time. We already have a lot of early people that were on here on the live stream, some of which... Uh, I did read some of the comments beforehand here. Let me lift the my camera just a little bit more because I feel like there we go I feel like that's the sweet spot <clears throat> Let me pull this over here My MacBook with my dashboard. This lets me know that everything is going going well <clears throat> But <laughs> what's going on everyone? Um, it's your boy the one and only and we are back yet again So as you guys know on Sunday, I did not stream in celebration of Easter we have David Artiaga saying, good work, man. Love the channel. Thank you so much, David. That really means a lot to me. I want to say this is the first time I've seen you here on the live stream, David. Hope to see you back here again. Arisbel Camacho says, Ex Camacho, I'm so sorry, Camacho. Excited to watch because I have an iPhone 12 and don't know if I should wait for upgrade or no. Excellent question. We will address your question, uh, Arisbel. Just give me a second. Let me go through the introductions here with everyone who is pulling up to the live stream. My beautiful mother, Ilda Covarrubia, sending in the clapping and thumbs up emoji. My mom is always here supporting. So let's give a big, big, big shout out to my wonderful mother, Hilda, which we like to dub Hildita. It's a term of endearment. <laughs> we have my little brother, Alejandro Covarrubias with We Locked In. Appreciate that, little bro. Ben Liu. Good stuff, Juan. Can't join this one. Aw, but I'm dropping my like in support. Thank you, Mr. Ben. Wherever you are, let us know what part of the world you are in. I appreciate you. We also have Roberto Casas. Drop my like. Hope your Easter went well. Thank you, man. Yes, it was very, very nice. My Easter was just filled with just happiness. It was it was a really, really good Easter weekend for me. Definitely. All right, we have Mr. Garris Mallory. What's up, bro? Always coming in with the same line, and I absolutely am here for it. What's up, Gareth? Hopefully you're doing good. Fatima with the red heart. Hello, Fatima. Red heart right back at you. Thank you for making it onto the live stream. Gareth Mallory, nice glasses. Thank you, man. Yeah, so I actually, I keep forgetting that I have these. I have two pairs that I mostly use. Um, I need to go back to the eye doctor. I actually haven't had an eye exam in quite a while, and I think it's time. Miss History Buff. Hi, Juan. Hello, Miss History Buff. Hopefully you've been doing well. Uh, more band reviews are on the way, Miss History Buff. I know that you like the band reviews, but exciting news. So I have went ahead and ordered my S24 Plus. Now, why is that exciting? Well, that's because I already have the S24 Ultra. That, that one more or less is my work phone. Um, and so I'm going to do my battery drain test. So on my next off day, not this week, but my next off day next week, I need to dedicate a whole entire day to babysitting some Samsung devices. So I'm going to run my battery drain test on the Samsung devices next week. And then that video, I'm going to try to edit it as quickly as possible and get it out to you guys because my last Samsung battery drain test video, I believe got... Upwards of I think it was I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I think it was like 200 K views and so many of the comments were people thanking me For you know, just giving them giving them some free bread letting them know which of the Samsung devices are the ones That last the longest and when people buy cell phones That's one of the main concerns people are having like how long can I expect this smartphone to last me 
on just a regular day. So we shall see. Uh, Gareth, right now I'm collecting my band number 171 on my local post office. First gen green sport band. No. I think I have that one too. No, wait, no, I don't. That's that like super, super green one. Like, like, right? Like the, I don't, I don't have it. Dang it. I'm jealous. I am jealous. I don't have it. Or maybe I do. And I just have worn it already. And it's in my little bag, just chilling. But that is awesome, man. 171. Let me flex a little bit and say that I have, I think I'm, I'm approaching 500 bands. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, where are we? We have Fatima Animer. How does your family celebrate Easter? So great question, Fatima. Um, may, first off, may my dad's soul rest in peace because he was the like more religious one in our family, actually very religious. So we grew up Catholic, right? And so like we would follow, of course, most of the Catholic traditions, including, you know, Ash Wednesday, which basically marks um, Lent. So for 40 days, it is customary to give um, give up something. And then you're supposed to fast, although we only fasted on weekends because we were kids. <laughs> no excuse, though. Um, and so what we would basically do is just get together all together on Sunday and just have like a family dinner. My mom and my, and my aunts would typically cook. Um, but now that my dad has passed, things have changed slightly and more or less my family just goes out for a family dinner. We always, always remember his, his memory on Easter because he was really about it, especially good Friday. Um, in Spanish, we have, uh, El Sábado Santo, which is Holy Saturday. And then, of course, on Sunday is Easter. So it just mainly consists of food and family. And so now that we have our little nephews in our in our in our life, um, we really want to make it special for them. You know, the classic Easter egg hunts, the the Easter bunny. Um, now, my oldest nephew is two. So they're a little too small to like go out and go on hunts. But next year, I believe, is when we're going to start doing the whole Easter egg hunt and everything like that. We have Mr. Alex Yeager saying better have a new line on it. <laughs> Alex, better have a new line on it. Hey, you're right though. If anyone wants to get hooked up with any new Galaxy Ultras, hit me up. I promise you, I will hook you up with a new line any day. So thank you for your comment, Mr. Alex Yeager. All right, up next we have Hilda Covarrubia saying, Hola papi, aquí estamos siempre apoyándote. Ay, madre, muchísimas gracias. Sabes que, sabes cuánto te agradezco tus palabras y tu apoyo. So my mom basically commented, hello, my love. We are here always um, like in support of you. So my mom is just always here being a fan and it is absolutely beautiful. So Mr. Mike, who Mike has been MIA for a few live streams. Look, it's Juan Covarumba. <coughs> What? Uh, that's a new one. <coughs> Growing up, anytime like telemarketers would call me, it man, they would butcher the heck out of my last name. And it, initially it would like make me mad, but now it's kind of comical. Like I've heard come ubas, which is like grape eater. Um, I've heard cabalabas, like I've heard kovar, and then people just give up entirely. And it's just like, I get it. I get it. It's a lot of syllables. It's a pretty cool last name, but it's not that hard. It's not that hard to pronounce. Um, it's so late. Why are you all awake? Mike, you're just a grandpa. Um, it's not late. Actually, this is early evening for me, believe it or not. Oh, another thing real quick, since I have 29 of you guys on here right now with me on the live. If you haven't already, make sure to exit your, your full screen. Tonight's like goal is 41 likes. I know we're in the 40s already. It just seemed like not too long ago we were in the 20s. But nah, we're actually now at 41 likes. On the last live stream, the goal was 40, of course. So it was a big live stream. Um, and we far surpassed that. I think by the end of the live stream, I, I want to say we had 53 likes. And of course, I mean, that's just a barometer. It's not what I'm always focused on. It's just a little bit of fun to actually watch these live streams just kind of grow organically and naturally. So it's just really cool. If you guys can help me out, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. We are just four away. Well, right now I'm showing 38, actually 39 now. So we're just two 
likes away from hitting that like goal. I honestly, I'm sure that we're going to hit it, especially we have some straddlers that like join the live stream a little late. So I'm not too concerned. Just keep that in the back of your mind. If you got someone next to you, whether that's your wife, your kid, your husband, whatever it may be, make sure you grab their phone and hit that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. So Jenna Rose, I don't want to brag or anything, but <laughs> LOL, Mike. I know anyone who's about to brag it typically starts with that line right there. So nah, it's just battery drain tests are very time consuming. And so it's nice because the algorithm loves battery drain tests. It really does. And so for me, at least on the back end, they literally they take at least like minimum two and a half days worth of work. So especially with how busy I am, you got to film the whole entire thing. Right. So like you got to actually perform the test. But even before that happens, there's a lot of pre-planning. There is like you have to have at least a block of 45 minutes to ensure all of the devices are, are on the exact same settings. Not a single one can have a setting that's different. Otherwise, that is just scientifically in. Um, it's just it's just not going to work. Scientifically, if you're going to perform an experiment, you have to have all of your controlled variables. And if you're doing any kind of hypothesis testing, then you're going to have to always make sure that it is under a controlled environment, which is why these, these battery drain tests are really, really hard, but it's really nice because YouTube definitely has rewarded me, um, in the past with these battery drain tests. So it's really nice. There we go. We hit it. We hit the light goal. We're at 41. <laughs> so man, you guys have no idea how happy it makes me to see the light goal being crushed absolutely obliterated every single time but yeah um battery drain test they they take a lot of time and personally me i never like to be disingenuous so like it's happened before where i realize that maybe one of the smartphones or tablets or whatever it is that i'm testing it might okay so like i'm human i do make mistakes right not only that a lot of the times i feel like i have a squirrel brain where like i mean you know like Every now and then I slip up or I make a small little mistake, but I love my channel so much and the integrity behind my channel means a lot to me. So whenever accidents like that happen, let's say I'm seven hours into a test and then I notice I'm like, whoa, wait, why is this tablet a lot brighter than the others? And then I might realize that I failed to turn off auto brightness on it. At that moment, everything stops. Literally cut the recording, delete all of that footage. We got to start over. And a lot of the times, like when that happened to me, I was seven hours in. And so there's no way I'm restarting it because if I'm going to do a battery drain test, I got to start early. I'm talking like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. because you never know how long these devices are going to take. The iPads more or less take about 12 hours. Sometimes the iPhones and other smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy Ultras go well past 14 hours of continuous use. So if you do the math, sometimes depending on when I start, it can it can really get cumbersome. Um, and so I, that's just how I am, though. It's call me a perfectionist if you want. But when it comes to my channel and my battery drain test, yes, I'm very, very much about keeping everything consistent and making sure that everything is under a controlled environment. So anyway, uh, Miss History Buff, Miss History Buff, I have 222 bands. I have put a halt for buying until the fall releases. Ah, smart. Yeah, smart. Sometimes I have to do that to myself too. I have to put a cap on myself because if not, band buying and band purchasing can get really out of hand very quickly, especially man, especially right now where there's so many nice Hermes bands out. Um, I did end up keeping from the, not the Kilim ones, which I'm going to um, review pretty soon, but the other ones that I reviewed, I forget it's the Bridon style. I don't have them up right now, but I told myself I was going to refrain from trying to keep some bands, but that's impossible. So I ended up keeping the black, the, the black Navy and gray one. I absolutely, I'm in love with that one. And what I really like about it as well is just that I'm able to match it with a lot of my accessories and a lot of my outfits with it being black and gray in general. Like it's just, it's, it matches well with just about everything. Mike, I have three bands, give or take, stop the cap. 
that's where I need a soundboard. Eventually, this live stream, these live streams are going to have soundboards. And I absolutely love that sound, the stop the cap. That one's so funny. Every now and then at work, I mean, don't you just wish, especially those of you that understand my pain and work in customer service or any kind of sales-related job, you ever just have that customer that just always caps? Like, you know that they're lying? Like, dude, I know you're lying when you're telling me that you have seven lines and you're paying $100 for those seven lines. Stop the cap. What is the, like, why, why do you, why do you need to lie? Don't lie to me. Just tell me you don't want AT&T. That's it. That's all you got to tell me. Literally. Fatima, I'm Muslim and Ramadan is ending next week. Fatima, that is so, so, so cool. So I know that, um, Fatima, if I can ask, I just like learning about different cultures. So I know Easter from beginning to end. Well, well what, what is typically de defined as the Easter, um, season, if you will, starts with Ash Wednesday and it runs 40 days. So it starts on Ash Wednesday and then it concludes with Easter. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people didn't know why Easter always lands on a different day. So like a lot of people were scratching their heads and wondering, well, wait, Easter is, this year was at the very end of March, at the very tail end of March. Why? And then you realize that Easter is a pagan holiday because it has to do with the moon and something about the spring equinox, right? And so that marks Easter. And so that makes a lot of sense historically once you start thinking about how and why the Easter holiday came to be. So Fatima, let us know how long, <clears throat> how long Ramadan is because I know that it's similar to Easter in that like it's several days consecutively in a row that basically define Easter. So let us know. I'm, I'm really curious to find out. Jenna Rose, angel number 222. Yeah, actually having 222 bands is actually pretty fire. Like, that's a really awesome even number, 222. Uh, Miss History Buff, my holiday is later this month, Passover. Oh, that's so awesome, Miss History, Miss History Buff. If you can also tell us a little bit more about your holiday, that would be really, really awesome. I'd really appreciate that. Fever Ray, it has been a while since I've seen you, Fever. Hi, Juan. Do you own AirPods Max? How often do you use them? Fever, I used to have AirPods Max until they got robbed. Yep. They got robbed. I was uh, at a hol no, yeah, at a Halloween kind of like, um, what's it called? One of those haunted places where you go to purposely get scared and you kind of low-key want to punch people in the face because the jump scares are like pretty dramatic. Yeah, those places. So the parking lot was already super sketch. The parking lot for this haunted uh, uh, like amusement thing or whatever, hella sketch. I mean, it was just a bad omen all around. And I was driving my Nissan Altima at the time. I don't think I had my Volvo. And so Nissan Altimas, they have this little cap on the, on the key cover, right? But apparently it's very easy to break into a Nissan. And so I had to learn that the hard way. So I had in my book bag, it was a lot of stuff. I was devastated. Not only was it a fire ass Jansport book bag, but I had my MacBook Pro 13, uh, the 13 inch or was it the 13 inch? Yeah, it was the one with the touch bar from back in the day. So $1,300 down the drain. Then my AirPods Max, $550 down the drain. I also had some really insanely fire Gucci glasses. I'm talking really, really nice. Now, for anyone that knows me personally, y'all know that the more outlandish the glasses, the more confident I feel in them. So these these Gucci's were like these snowboard kind of looking. Not really. I mean, they weren't like over the top. They weren't. I promise they were really fire, but they were they were like really thick. They were kind of like this big and. They were like, oh my God, I just, I was in love with them. And then they had the white, uh, like these side things, $500 down the drain. So all in all, but the mo the worst part, the worst part is that they stole my passport too. So I was concerned about my identity being stolen too. Um, and I had a Fiji stamp. Like I was starting to treat my passport as like just a, like a collection of stamps from all over the world that I've been, man, I had my Bahama stamp, my London stamp, my Mexico stamp, Fiji stamp, Australia, New Zealand didn't stamp because they had e-visas. Um, 
and, and my Canada stamp and all of that lost. All because some greedy asshole decided to break into my car and just steal all of my stuff. However, to answer your question, when I had them, AirPods Max are really cool. I really like the concept of being able to take off the earmuffs and like kind of um, color coordinate them, if you will. I had the green pair. I absolutely was in love with them. They were so soft, super comfortable. The little mesh at the top of your head also conforms to your head shape quite well. Um, sound quality, immaculate. Noise cancellation on those is the best I've ever seen on any kind of... Um, over ear headphones, they were just so nice. It's a shame that they were stolen from me. Um, but as a tech reviewer, I mean, I guess I need to count my blessings because I still have my Beats Studios, still have my Beats Solos. I have several pairs of AirPods. So, like, I wasn't tripping that much, but still, it hurt to lose almost close to $3,000 off of just one fell swoop. It really sucked. But yeah, great question. Um, uh, Fever, I really appreciate that question a lot. Uh, overall, I would definitely recommend AirPods Max. However, I would say Beat Studios do the job, if not better, and for a fraction of the cost. I mean, AirPods Max, if you can swallow the price tag, which is more than $500, then they're excellent. But if $500 is out of your reach, there's other options that you can find elsewhere. So Vicente says, sorry for arriving right, uh, late. You're fine, Vicente. Don't even worry about it. You already know. It's no it's no biggie. We're at 46 likes, by the way, already. That's five more than the like goal. So as always, I appreciate everyone watching. Fatima says, the holy month of Ramadan is the ninth month in the Islamic lunar calendar. It's a month of fasting, worship, service, communal gathering, and spiritual development. Fasting in Ramadan is a month long. So awesome, Fatima. I really, I really, really appreciate you giving us a little bit of that information. Yeah, on Easter, my father would also fast the whole 40 days. So he was really about it. He was really devoted. I did it one year, and it was really, really, really hard. I don't know why I did it when I worked at Burger King, because Burger King was my first ever job when I was 15. I started working there. I worked there from like when I was 15 years old to 17 years old. Worst job ever, but man, was it fun. It was like my first ever job. I did not take that seriously. I mean, no offense to anyone, right? Because any job that you earn with the sweat of your forehead in my eyes is A-OK, -okay, right? But I was not taking Burger King seriously at the time. I was a kid, too. Like, I mean, you know, so and we were just clowning around, goofing around, hooking up all of our buddies. I'll never forget. My buddies in high school would be like, yo, bro, JM, can you hook up some Whoppers and I'll slide you a 10? Back when $10 actually meant something, I said, say no more. Just go through the drive through and I would give them a keyword to say at the at the box. Right. So then. Whoever was at the first window, I'd be like, hey, when you hear this, this keyword, and typically it'd be something funny. I'd like make them do something ridiculous, like a, like some kind of weird bird, caca, like caca, you know? And so then they do that, and then the person taking the order would be like, oh, that's JM's friend. So then they'd pull up to the window, and I was cool with all the cooks. Like, at all of my jobs, thankfully, like, I'm just a chill person. Like, I get along with just about anyone. My my simple rule is just I don't tolerate disrespect. So long as you don't disrespect me, which is a somewhat easy thing to do. I mean, I'm super chill, easy going, low maintenance, then we'll be fine. So I was super chill with all the, all the kitchen staff. And I'd be like, yo, listen, I need five Whoppers. They'd be like, what? The? <laughs> five Whoppers, I need two chicken crispy sandwiches, and I'm going to grab some nuggets. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. Like straight four bags. Here you go. Now leave quickly. They'd leave quickly and then I would get paid my $10. I mean, it was like a beautiful finesse, right? And I never would get in trouble for it because my managers were also really cool and they loved me. So anyway, good times. Good times. Uh, where am I? Uh, Vicente, I remember that night. Wait, which night? Which night are you talking about, Vicente? Let me know. Uh, Miss History Buff, Passover celebrates the biblical story of the Israelites' escape from slavery in Egypt. The holiday lasts several days. That is awesome. That is awesome. So Passover, yes, I've heard of Passover, Miss History Buff. Um, it's just me personally ever since, like, maybe a couple years ago. I'm definitely super duper duper spiritual is what I would consider myself. I definitely um, have a love and faith for God. But to say that I follow a lot of the religious kind of traditions, I have to say that I don't really nowadays. Um, 
I'm not a practicing Catholic, but I definitely respect my upbringing. So this is why I like learning about different traditions, because I know that growing up, all I knew was Catholicism. That's all I knew, you know, just go to the, go to the Catholic Church, do this, do that. This is the way this has been done for years and years and years. And that's it. But when you really think about it, especially growing up and growing up in kind of a diverse culture, right? Especially when my when my parents encouraged me to look at diversity with open eyes and an open heart. That's why I love learning about different cultures, especially about different religions, because I know how so many people like my father, they were very religious and it was all always with good intention, right? And so I know so many good people that love God and they go to church regularly or they go to a synagogue regularly or they go to a mosque regularly, you know? And so it's just really, really nice to get to learn about different people's cultural traditions, festivities, because, man, trust me, especially being Hispanic, oh, at baptisms, boy, everyone is getting pretty much hammered. Everyone's getting drunk as hell. I mean, that's just how it is. You know, just being Mexicans, we we just play loud music, which reminds me. All right. I need Mr. Juan Manuel, my tocayo. He's not on here right now. I really did want to ask him something, man, but he's not on here right now. I wanted to ask, have you guys heard? Did you guys hear about the Mazatlan bands in Mexico beaches in Sinaloa? It's absurd what's going on. What is happening? So really quick recap, right? I am Mexican-American, born in America. And, um, you know, uh, a son of migrant of uh, Mexican parents. So very, very proud to be Mexican. But also America is my home. The United States is my home. But what is up with some Americans? Not all. What is up with some Americans feeling so entitled? So basically what's going on is that in the beaches of Mazatlan in Sinaloa, Mexico, it is tradition. Look, me the Mexican people, we love music, right? There's no way you're going to pull up to a Mexican wedding and it's going to be boring as hell. That's never going to happen. Not only is it, is it really lively, but it's very vibrant too. So our culture is just really filled with colors and music and dancing and laughter and smiles, right? So in these beaches, some ex uh, are they? Yeah, expats, right? So expats is basically um, people who retire but in other countries, right? Typically referred to Americans, right? So Americans, expats, have moved to Mexico and are complaining about the music being too loud on the beach. Like, make that make sense. That makes no sense for me at all whatsoever. Imagine this. Check this analogy out. It's like going to someone's house when they're having like a party, right? Or just any regular day. It doesn't have to be a party day. Imagine going to someone's house and you complain that you that their TV is too loud or that their 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 Bluetooth speaker is too loud. Or or you know, you go into someone's home and you just start complaining right off the bat like what? That never made sense to me. It never did because the music isn't going to stop. And actually, I'm very proud of the Mexican president, AMLO. Um, um, AMLO stands for Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Say what you say, but I love that he defended the, the, the banda, the musicians, right? So he said, let them play. They have a right to play on the beach. So anyway, we got off on a little tangent. We were talking about cultures and different kinds of traditions. So I wanted to bring that up because I find it interesting. Like, it's just what? Like, <laughs> anyway, um, Kennedy Pettit heads up in case the police didn't tell you, make sure you keep the serial numbers to all electronics. That way, if anyone pawns them, they'll be able to identify them as yours. So Kennedy, I do appreciate that so much. It's been a while, I think, since you've been on the live streams. But the police were absolutely useless. I gave them all of this. Like, I had the box. I had all of the serial numbers. Like, I keep all of my Apple boxes, for the most part, useless. The police absolutely did not do anything. And what's so funny is, like, this was a real theft. Like, this was a legit crime. I lost about $3,000. Oh, but God forbid anyone smokes half a doobie out in the park. God forbid. Because, oh, they're going to be on it like a hawk. So, yeah, made me lose faith a lot in the system because when when you actually have a real problem, 
nothing gets done. Absolutely nothing gets done. But with small, nonviolent crimes, it's like the end of the world. So I just hate that. It was, it was a, a big bummer. I really, really had faith that my electronics were going to be returned to me. But unfortunately, missed call after missed call after missed call to the police department, and I got nothing. So I got frustrated and just gave up. It is what it is. I already took the L. I'm not salty about it anymore. It happens. It's replaceable. At least I'm safe and I'm here. So that's all that matters, I guess, right? <laughs> tech for your needs. Hello, folks. Hello, tech for your needs. I was missing you, man. I was wondering if you were going to come onto the live stream. Um, tech for your needs says, hi, Vicente. Jenna Rose, JM. Yes, that's right. My friends do like to call me JM. Um, Obviously, that is short for Juan Manuel. So, you know, it is what it is. Yo, ain't no way. We have Mr. Anibal Mancia. What's up, Anibal? Hopefully, you've been doing good. Fire ass shirt on God. This is a fire shirt. I'm telling you. I, I kind of showed it off at the beginning of the live stream, but I'll do it again. Once again, well, maybe it's just because you're ugly. And if you've ever, like, has anything ever gone bad in your life? And have you ever asked yourself this exactly what's on my shirt? Because I've asked myself that a few times before. I'm not even going to lie. But nice to see you over here, Annabelle. Really makes me happy. Vicente Ramos, where you got your AirPods stolen in MacBook as well, I think. Oh, yes, because I, I hit you up that day. I'm pretty sure I was so mad. I was so upset. I wasn't so much more mad than I was just really disappointed because that was so much money down the drain, man. And the thing is, like, dude, I mean... I don't come from a rich family. So like, dude, I had to work for all that, man. Like that's a lot of hours at work. Yeah. Anyway, I don't need to dive into the, into, you know, or delve in the past, but it's just, it sucks. Jenna Rose with the rip agreed. RIP miss history buff. I am very non-religious. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I'm telling you, I just, I have my own personal quarrels and beef with the Catholic church. Of course, that has to do with my upbringing. Although I was raised Catholic, I just have questions that are very kind of in the air that never really, I was never really given an answer. But hey, that is another conversation for a different day. Maybe that's a podcasting kind of topic, right? Because I adore my God. I love God, full faith in him, and I, I'm a believer. But what I don't like is the posse like kind of clicks at churches, the the eternal grab for money, um, especially <clears throat> especially in my religion. I just have questions about like the diezmo, which for those that don't know the diezmo, this used to happen a lot back in Spain back in the day and early Mexico back, you know, shortly after their independence, because as you may know, Mexico is a very Catholic country. The diezmo back in the day was implemented as kind of this quote unquote unofficial mandatory thing where you had to give up a tenth of your salary. So if you make $80,000, then you were expected to give away $8,000 to the church. And my thing is, is you never know where those funds are being proportionated, right? So like, is it really going to helping starving kids when you see the pastor roll up in like a Rolls Royce on his wrist and then you got, you got him pulling up in a Jaguar? It makes you wonder like, wait, 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 hold on a second. You, you, you mean to tell me that I must give a 10th percent of my salary? Otherwise God isn't going to like me anyway. <laughs> we don't need this live stream to get religious. I really much respect everyone's religion. And, and hey, I'm just I'm just here enjoying life. Right. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go on on the live stream chat. That is really awesome. Miss history buff, whether you're religious or not. I mean, I consider myself spiritual, just definitely not religious. I just I don't know. It feels weird going to church and, and then and then I kneel down and then within five minutes, almost guaranteed if it's a day that there's no mass and you just go in there, right. And you want to just pray and kind of be in the presence of, of God, then within five minutes of being there, you're already being shown a basket for money. And that to me has always been, uh, it's just like, really, really. And then if you don't give money, like a lot, a lot of these coordinators at, at specifically my church give you the stankest look. And it's just like, dude, man, like you really are trying really hard for me to never come back, huh? So anyway, tangents again, once again, I respect everyone. I really wholeheartedly, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> so uh, Song Sparrow, wait, uh, Songs 
Song Sparrow 09. Have you reviewed all the new spring 2024 band collections? Yes. So all of the official um, first party Apple ones I have. Now I need to work on the Hermes ones, but as you know, the Hermes ones are very pricey. So on certain lines of the of the Apple Watch Hermes line, it'll be like five or six new bands. And if you do the math, that's like at least two thousand dollars, you know, kind of in the air suspended. And so whenever you manage a whole YouTube channel by yourself, you just have to really pick and choose because it's always like a schedule. What's the priority? Like we're spending X amount of money on this review, like our bills paid, you know, am I going to have money for, you know, some BOGO wings at Buffalo Wild Wings on Tuesday? So anyway, um, all of the of the standard bands, the braided solo, the solo loops, the sport bands, which other ones? Um, the sport loops as well. They have all been reviewed. All of the standard release of bands have been reviewed. So thank you so much for your question, Song Sparrow. Oh, and that actually that that reminds me. Next week, seven days from today, we're going to choose the giveaway winners for my band reviews. So I'm going to remind everyone on Sunday um, to go ahead and lock in your comments. That way you have an opportunity to win. All right. Tech for your needs. If it's daytime, why does loud music matter on the beach? I understand it's outside of the acceptable hours. Oh, we're going back to the Masat line thing. Tech for your needs. Yeah, it's during daylight hours. It's during regular like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. I'd understand if this was like some 2 a.m., like they're, they're on the beach and no one is able to sleep. That's different. No, but no, it's like during the day. Like it's a tradition. And on top of that, a lot of these people, that's how they make their livelihood. So they're talented musicians and people tip them. You know, they have a right to play out there. And then on top of that, to have... Of like foreigners basically because that's their country that's that's mexico right to have a foreigner come into your country and basically try to impose kinds of like judgment or just you know it's just it's not right it's not cool let them be you're a tourist in that country i would never ever dare go to a different country and then be arrogant or like talk down on someone's culture like who am I to say I am a guest in that country? I must respect the people and their culture. If you don't like it, leave. You don't have to be in Mexico. You can go to countless other countries, right? So anyway, uh, Ilda Covarrubias with the clapping emojis and the thumbs up. Otra vez, muchas gracias, madre. Te agradezco todo el apoyo que me das. Um, J, uh, no, sorry. Uh, Jenna is saying, uh, I'll call you JM. That's fine. You can call me whatever. Normally I'm not too, too picky on, on what people call me. Just don't call me anything that is offensive. JM obviously is not offensive. <laughs> Annabel Mancia, love God, hate religion. Retweet, man. Retweet. Amen. Same here. Same here, dude. Vicente also with the amen JM. Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad that you guys are also of the same belief. Um, this is really cool because I have questioned this for years and years and years and years. And again, I feel like it stems from, you know, my father heavily forced, uh, Catholicism down our throats. And I don't, I don't really agree with that. Um, God willing, if God ever gives me the blessing of having children, um, they will be free to choose what they want to believe in. I'm not going to force them to go to church if they don't want to. It wasn't until I was an adult, it wasn't until I was 18 that I was given the liberty of choosing whether I wanted to go to church or not. And you knew 95% of the time, heck no, I'm fine. I don't want to go. But that other 5% would be my dad guilt tripping us and I'll never ever forget his memory. May his soul rest in peace. He'd come into my room and he'd wag his finger and he'd be like, mijo, son, Hace tiempo que ya no vas a la iglesia. It's been a time, there's been some time since you haven't gone to church. You should go see God. And then I just do this kind of like loud sigh. And I'll be like, fine. I'll go this one time. And it'd be like once every 12 weeks, once every three months. So that was manageable. But, you know, nowadays, yeah, I tend to not go now. Whether you think that makes me a bad person or not, hey, that's your prerogative. But I feel very, very, very happy every single day for the most part. I don't feel like I need to go to church. I feel like I can talk to God from wherever I am, whether that's in my car or whether I'm kneeling down in my room or whether I'm at my dad's tombstone. I feel like that's my time to speak with God, and I feel very fulfilled doing that. So, hey. 
Uh, Vicente. Oh, wait. Uh, Jenna says you and my mom have the same views on Catholicism. That is cool. That's awesome. If you can elaborate a little bit more, Jenna, that'd be really awesome. Vicente says, that's what I say. I wish the church actually helped the community make more money instead of asking for more money. Exactly, man. Like you would think here in my hometown, we have a huge Hispanic population. I'm talking like 35% probably. I need to look at the statistics, but I would say anywhere from 25 to 35% of Gainesville is Hispanic. We actually have a street in, in my hometown called Atlanta Highway is dead ass little Mexico. Like every single business on that road is Hispanic owned. And so you think, you know, with such a big Hispanic population, why is the church not giving back? Why is the church not investing into their own people? Like, the Hispanic community here in my hometown goes to church in droves and generously gives them a ton of money. Like, when are we ever seeing that money? So I don't know, which is why I don't I don't I don't go and I don't go. I don't give them any any of my money. I would think. Right. Some might disagree. Some might agree. I think I'm doing a way better deed rather than giving the church a tenth of my salary. Hey, what if every now and then, what if, what if you just bring your mom some food out the random, make her day, right? Or what if your partner, your spouse, your husband, your, your wife, whatever it may be, what if, you know, they're in a pinch, maybe they just got paid and responsibilities as they are, maybe they already went ahead and paid off all of their bills, you know, paid off on their credit cards, paid their mortgage or paid their rent. And you just did a solid, you did them a good deed. You bought them a burger without asking them. I think those kinds of deeds go a lot farther than giving money to the church. I genuinely do feel that because you are helping someone's day. You're actually contributing to someone's happiness, right? Likewise, if there's some random stranger on the road and you know, they're not asking for money, but they're asking for something to eat and you go to a gas station or whatnot and bring them something to eat, whether that's bread or like a soda or water, that is more fulfilling, in my opinion, than giving a tenth of your salary to the church. Is that making sense? I hope it is. I hope I'm drilling the the, uh, the point home. I'm probably going to end pretty soon, guys. This has been an awesome, awesome stream already. I can't believe I've been streaming for 41 minutes already. These streams are always so fun. And by the way, we're at 51 likes. So we're already 10 plus over the like goal. For those that joined late, if you can do me a favor, if you haven't already, exit that full screen mode and hit the like button. Let's try to hit 55 on one of these next few live streams. That'd be really awesome. Let me catch up and then I will probably end the live stream here very soon, guys. Song Sparrow, I can't wait to watch a review and unboxing of new Hermes bands. Thank you, man. Yes. So if I have to guess, uh, let me see. What's my schedule looking like for this week in terms of uploads? So I'm going to do a... Oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. No! Dang it. My Apple Pencil fell. And now it's under the table. But anyway, here is one of the Apple Pencils. I'm going to do an Apple Pencil buying guide. Lately, a lot of people at my job are very confused as to which... Uh, which Apple Pencil they need for their iPad. And the iPad lineup is very confusing, I know. There's there's like six different variations of iPads you can currently get. And so some are just simply not compatible with some iPads, right? So like, for example, this one right here, this is the Apple Pencil 2. So as you can see, mine is uh, has the Juan and Only branding. I'm not sure, I'm, I don't even know if that'll focus. But it says the Juan and Only. And so like on my iPad mini, you just stick it over here to the side and it magnetically charges it. So it's really nice. Very cool, right? But this Apple Pencil 2 isn't compatible with all iPads. And so that's why I'm trying to make that video. So that video should be coming up at the tail end of this week. And then sometime next week is when I'm going to start filming for my Samsung battery drain test. And then Hermes bands are going to be sprinkled somewhere in between. So thank you, Song, uh, Song Sparrow. I really do much appreciate your enthusiasm for my band videos. We have Breck and Ferguson. I love your videos. I have 10 bands right now and going to get more. That's what I like to hear. Uh, Brecken, thank you so much for telling me that you love my videos. That really does mean a lot to me. You know that I pour a lot, a lot of effort and, um, and time and devotion into my channel. So this always means a lot to me. The Coconut Gamer with the yo! Coconut Gamer, man. I thought you were going to miss this live stream. How are you doing? 
Tech for your needs. I know what you mean. My parents are Puerto Rican. We are a loud country by nature. That's so cool. Tech for your needs. I did not know that you were Puerto Rican. That is super, super dope. So, eso quiere decir que tú hablas español, ¿cierto? Um, the coconut gamer, the coconut who joins every stream every time. Uh, what do you think the best phone is? Oh, coconut gamer. Very good question. Um, as of right now, I will still say iPhone. Now, some might, you might roll your eyes at me. But hear me out. The UI or user interface on iPhones is why they're so beloved, right? For a lot of people, they're super easy to use. And at least here in America, in America, you can't go, you can't go to any shopping center without looking left and right and somebody has an iPhone. Like they're just everywhere here. It's like the plague. But the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is a really good contender, especially now that I've had some time to kind of, you know, interact with it and kind of use it. The Samsung Galaxy Ultra is really, really nice. I don't know if in the next few years I'll change my opinion, uh, but it is what it is. Right now, I would give it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max as my favorite current phone in 2024. Jenna says, can I win a giveaway for your time? Jenna, my giveaways are never rigged. Uh, they are always random. So I will say that maybe you can win one if and only if the odds are on your side. So we'll see. Song Sparrow, if we just live nearby, I will buy the price of your mez bands and let you re review it, at least for the content, because you help us all bandaholics. I'm from Dubai, UAE, by the way. Hope you can visit here soon. What? That is crazy, man. That The fact that you're over there in Dubai, that's actually so interesting. I had one of my customers come in today, and he was upgrading his phone. He got a black 256 gigabyte iPhone 15 Pro, not the Max, just the black titanium. Um, and he is going to Dubai. And, man, I wished him so much fun because... Uh, and save travels because I mean you guys know that I love traveling so that is so awesome if I ever do travel to, to Dubai I will 1000% take you up on that offer 1000% that would be really really cool and not only that I would certainly song sparrow I would certainly give you a massive massive shout out for letting you for letting me borrow or your Hermes bands for a review that'd be really cool Vicente says, at least your parents didn't say you can like the same sex. Just don't do anything with them. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Vicente. Yeah, the I'm telling you, the religious community can be very hateful. And and, and mm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm very sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Jerry with the ear. Actually, Jerry, believe it or not, you want to know something? At the beginning of this live stream, I thought, I bet Jerry's going to join at the very end. And he's going to come in with a ear. And look, look at what happened. <laughs> so Jerry, oh, by the way, Jerry, I need to hit you up this Sunday, Domingo, after I get off of work, can we work on my oil change? I will hit you up personally because I know that that's a, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. I need to make sure that you're not busy. Um, but if you're up for it, I need an oil change on my Volvo. So if you can help me out with that, that'd be really cool. Jenna Rose with the red heart. Thank you for that, Jenna. Kennedy, good vid. Not a bad one for my first time watching in a while. Glad I could watch. Glad you could be here, Kennedy. I really do appreciate your time. Tech for your needs. Claro, hablo español. Que bueno, eso me encanta. Pero obviamente tu acento es muy diferente al mío. Honestamente, en mi trabajo, ¿sabes lo que es algo, algo curioso? Es que cuando la, la gente hispana me ve, casi nadie puede decir o casi nadie se da cuenta que yo soy mexicano. Siempre me pregunta que de dónde soy. A veces me dicen italiano, a veces me dicen argentino, muchas de las veces me dicen que parezco like entre entre mixteado americano, o sea, gringo con con like colombiano, so es es que es, es por los ojos y obviamente the beard and the curly hair and of course the olive skin tone, so it really throws a lot of people off. Back when I worked at the bank, I would just cap all the time on my clients. I would just, they'd be like, where are you from? Where are you from? And so then just to joke around, because that's not what they're asking. I'd always be like, oh, I'm from Gainesville, Georgia, you know? And then they, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Bet, bet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, and then like five, five seconds later, they'd be like, but, but where are your parents from? <laughs> I'll be like, ah, you're asking about my ethnicity, huh? So many times I'd be like, oh, oh I'm Portuguese. Oh, I'm from the Philippines. Oh, I'm Pakistani. Or like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, my family's from Yemen. And they'd be like, where's that? You know, <laughs> so this is funny. 
Uh, Junior Trujillo, a.k.a. Chuchis the Baby Boy. Don't forget that Chuchis name switches with the seasons. So now that it's spring, he's Chuchis the Baby Boy. But in the winter months, he's Baby Boy Chuch. Don't forget. It's very important that you guys don't forget. But Mr. Trujillo says, Yo soy un yasabo. Soy de Sinaloa. Oh, yeah, you are, bro. That's crazy. Jenna, listen, man. I don't want to take a band or something from another viewer. I'm just asking for your time. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Wait, I got confused here. What, what do you mean, Jenna? Uh, listen, I don't want to take a band or something from another viewer. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. You're talking about Apple Watch bands. Or are you? Are you talking about the Mexican bands on the beach? Whoa, hold on. We're at 54 likes. We're at 54 likes. I think this is the most I've ever gotten on a live stream. So thank you, everyone, from the bottom of my heart. This means the world to me. Oh, my God, that is so awesome. Last thing. Last thing before I cut the live stream, I did want to say, got a new earring. What do y'all think? There's a little lightning bolt. Obviously, these are fake diamonds, but, you know, they kind of glisten in the sunlight. It's really cool. So over here, I got my standard diamond over here. But over here, I miss the dangly ones. Normally, I rock earrings maybe like one month at a time after a while. This is the one I normally change, though, the one on my right ear. I'll just switch them out. Like every month or so, I'll get bored of this one. And then in a month, I'll go online and find more. Um, I remember my favorite one. One of my favorites was the Goku Patora earrings I ordered from Amazon. For anyone who has watched Dragon Ball Z, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. The Patora earring was awesome. It was fine, but I think it was way too heavy. It was the second uh, earring that I ever wore, and I think it was too heavy, and it kind of irritated my earlobe, I guess. It would turn red, and so I decided that I had to take it off after a while. Uh, so Song Sparrow, Jenna Rose, Juan Manuel has a girlfriend already. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Jerry Agu Aguirre, is she hitting on you? Wait, what is going on? Jenna, it's me? No, <laughs> you guys are tripping. No, <laughs> currently I don't have a girlfriend just to set the record straight. I hope everyone knows that. But all right, guys, I think I'm going to cut the live stream short here. I really, really do appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to be a little sappy right now and let you guys know that I look forward to these live streams so, so, so much. They're so fulfilling for me. And it's so awesome, like with Mr. Oh, wait, we have Shantina Boyd here joining late. I'm tardy to the party. Hey, you made it just in time, Shantina. So just in time to give you a quick shout out. Shantina, don't forget to drop your like. Um, but yeah, I was actually about to wrap up, but it's really nice. It's so awesome that I got to see so many of my regular viewers. I believe we had a few new ones too. So if you're new to the party, welcome. We do this every Wednesday and Sunday. We live stream every Wednesday and Sunday. On occasions, because I am a human as well, things happen in my life that are out of my control, or sometimes it's just family time and I can't, you know, really do the live stream. In that case, if I'm able to, I'll pre-plan a premiere, which is somewhat of a live-ish aspect where I get to premiere a video for the first time and I'm able to have a live chat as we all watch that new live premiere and you guys are able to chat with me live. Um, but other instances, I'm not able to actually do it, in which case I'll make a community post and let you guys know that I'm not able to. But I try my very, very, very hardest to always do these live streams because they always mean the world to me. And I'm someone who's very goal driven. So this is one of the reasons why I like doing the like goals. It's a small little thing and I don't like to really kind of uh, focus on them too much because if we don't ever hit a like goal, that's totally fine. I get that you guys sometimes are busy. You guys have lives too. So it just means so much that so many of you guys are able to take 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes of your day to come and hang out with me, especially those in America and especially those on the East Coast because I know that for right now, my streams are a little bit on the later side, but with time, they're going to become earlier and earlier. It just depends on my job, and my job uh, structures the schedule based off of seniority. So I'm a very patient person. I know that with time, my schedule is only going to get better. So I just wanted to say, I like to say this often, but I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Y'all really make my day, and this is just such an awesome and amazing creative outlet to be able to be out here hanging out with you guys every Wednesday and Sunday night. So from the bottom of my heart, it really means so much to me for everyone who pulls up and supports me. Big shout out to my beautiful mother, Ilda, who is always, always, always from the very start, from the, from the time my channel had one subscriber, one, one singular subscriber, and it was her. First subscriber was her. And so ever since the first subscriber, my mom has been here supporting my channel. She has never given up on my dream and neither have I. So 
Very big shout out. Muy, muy agradecido con mi madre, Hilda Covarrubias. Yo sé que a lo mejor ya está dormida, pero le quiero desear a mi madre todo lo mejor en la vida. Ella sabe cuánto la quiero. Y madre, muchas gracias por todo tu apoyo. So basically, I just told my mom that I love her um, and that I'm always so, so, so thankful. I cherish my mom so much. That is my ride or die. That is bestie. That is, mm, man, may God protect her soul for years and years and years and years to come. Um, anyone who knows my mom personally knows how, how much of a sweetheart she is. She, she, she's really awesome. But all right, guys, let me go ahead and read these last few and then I'm going to call it quits. Do we have, why, this, this is trip and it's saying that I have... 48 people on chat with me right now. I don't think that's accurate. Might be. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Song Sparrow, I thought you have GF. You were mentioning it before. Who's having a 41 millimeter Apple Watch? I'm confused. Uh, no, Song Sparrow. I have been single since uh, the summer. So, yeah. Fever Ray, later Juan. See you, Fever. Thank you for making it onto the live stream. Jenna Rose waving. Good night, Jenna. The Louis D, night Juan and fam. Good night, bro. Thank you for making it onto the live stream and making an appearance on the live chat. And then finally, slow DRV, the very last comment. I messaged you on, I, on Instagram trying to buy iPhone 14 Pro Max leather cases. Dude, okay, so I need to check that. I actually have a box filled with iPhone 14 cases. So, so slow DRV, tomorrow's my off day. I will probably respond to you tomorrow because it is already a little late here. I went to the gym in the morning. So that's already out of the way. So now this live stream is going to end and I'm going to get snuggled up in my bed and get ready for bed. So guys, wherever you are in the world, always remember to stay, stay, stay safe, stay hydrated. Um, I hope everyone has a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Just depends on wherever you are um, on the world and the globe. Stay on the lookout for any of my future videos. More band reviews on the way. That Apple Pencil buying guide is coming up. I'm waiting for new iPads for Apple to finally release new iPads. And then next week, I'm going to film my Samsung battery drain test. So guys, with that, this next Sunday live stream should be pretty good to go. If my friend Jerry can help me with my oil chains, then I will do the live stream immediately after that. But that's been it for me, guys. It's been one of the funnest live streams. These live streams just continue to get better and better as they grow more and more. Stay safe, guys. This has been one of the funnest ones, like I said. Um, drink your water. Don't forget. And I'll be catching you all in the next one. Bye for now.